Hello everyone, welcome to the learn area. Now to understand the concepts very clearly, please watch the video till the end. And once you are done with watching the video, do not forget to like, comment, subscribe and hit the bell icon. So today we are going to learn about proc transpose, that is transpose procedure. What does it do? Its definition says it does the transformation from observation to variables and it's vice versa. That is, if you have some value as observation, it makes them as the variable name. And if you want to make the variables names as observation, it does the work. Right. Now, let's go and see some examples. So, here we have a base table. All right. This kind of table, which has three columns. One is city. The other one is country. Then the transaction amount. Same data here we have in Excel. Here we have one additional column which is contact name. Just for now, just ignore this column. Now, let's consider about these two columns. If you have to transpose, what you're going to do? Just select this and copy it. You will copy this and wherever you want to transpose. For example, if I want to transpose it here, I will just click here, go to the paste option and then you can look for the transpose option i'm not sure here it has the paste space and from here you can choose transpose and click ok so now you can see the data has been transposed over here but is it what you actually want it to look like maybe you may want but what if you want to have more columns probably this is not making more sense so this is how it happens in excel but what if it comes to the uh, let's try on three columns again i'm gonna do this time with shortcut and click ok all right so look at this now this is not making very much sense and it's not very simple to identify and read the data so this all problems get sorted out in sas all right, so though it's very simple to do in Excel and it's more simpler to do in SAS as well. It's not a big task. Let's go to the here and let's see what is it that we want. So here we have the data and how do we want it to, con to be converted? We want it to be converted like this. So this is what our transpose data. Let's have a look and see what is it that actually have been changed. Let's go to the one by one let's go to the columns one by one first let's look at the city column here is the city column and it has not been changed it is as it was so in the same way city column has been transferred to the target data all right let's look at the second column which is country now let's see where is it now in the transpose data here it is so as you can see previously the country values were as the observation which have been converted as variable name if you can see that all right so this is what proc transpose does all right now let's look at the transaction amount this was the transaction amount and it has been transformed like this so it has been distributed for the combination of rows and columns and you can see the value it it comes like this now let's have a look at the syntax what is the syntax if you want to do this proc transpose thing so this is what the syntax you need to write let's look at it one by one so first thing as usual you need to type proc and then the processor name what is the processor name yes you got it correct the processor name is transpose and then you need to supply input data here you need to provide the data option equals to and then the library followed by a period operator and the input data set and then because we do not like to transform our original data we do not like to make any change in our transform data uh, sorry original data that is why we're going to produce a second data which would have the transformed result and that we need to specify in out option all right so this is what going to be our output data so we would name our output data as transposed now 
after writing this first line ends with semicolon which ends with semicolon we have three elements first one is by then id and then where all right so let's look at the significance of all these three mandatory elements what does it do what value do you need to pass on it so first we will go for by with by you have to provide that column name or that variable name which you do not want to transform at all in our case that variable name was city all right as you can see this was the city column and that has been supplied over here end this line with a semicolon now it comes to id so with id we need to supply that variable name which needs to be transposed from observation to the variable name in our case in this example that variable was country so this was the country variable which we wanted to transpose and as you can see in this transpose data it has been transformed now the next column which is transaction amount which we want to distribute like this i mean which we want to be appear as values that goes under var statement with var option all right and then as i said previously you need to end every line with a semicolon now this is the end of syntax or end of the statement so at the end you already know we end with a run followed by semicolon so this is what you need to supply as the syntax and then this data will be transformed as like this all right now there is one thing which i wanted to take a note of before supplying before starting with tra proc transpose it is very important that your data should be sorted based on this column based on the by column which you do not want to be changed and also the data should be sorted on country column as well it is always a good habit to first sort the data based on the by column and the column which you want to transpose and then use the proc transpose now without wasting the time let's go to the sas and try practical try, let's do it practically and see how it works all right so first we have the data here in our mylib library and the data name is unicast which i showed you over there it has three columns one is city country and the transaction amount let's go and try this first we need to sort the data because our data is because my data is already sorted uh, still i'm going to show this just for the practice all right proc sort data and then provide the data name which is unicast and then because i do not want to make any change in my original data i would produce a output to be or maybe i will just put uni cost all right you need to see that here i am producing the output in work library that is why i am not providing the work library here i did with the original data which was available in my lib because that was already sorted right so just don't get confused with that now it comes to the by option what is the value which we need to provide here city and then id which is then we need to provide id why is this happening let's just have a quick check city oh it's i'm sorry here we are doing the transpose oh uh, sorry uh, sort not the transpose all right then country and then run here our data gets sorted and then we will try transpose proc write the processor name provide the data which is uni sorry cost and then provide output let's make output which we gonna name as transposed and then you need to supply the column which you do not want to be modified which is city and then you want to provide the column which you want to be modified i mean which you want to be con converted from observation as the column name which is country now here it comes where the value which you want to show that is amount and then run 
let's select this statement and click the run button now here you can see for now you just ignore these two columns and let's look at the data so here you can see city is available as it is and the country names have been converted to the variable name all right so this is how you can use the proc transpose to convert the data from uh, observation to column now let's sort le let's deal with these two columns all right so these are the default thing which appears so when we whenever whenever you are doing the transpose in the output you just so uh, whenever sas does the transpose it creates such uh, default variables and that is always prefix and suffixed with a underscore so you can do one thing you can just drop it so to drop you just need to provide the drop option which i have explained in my previous video if you have not seen it yet just go and watch that link is given over uh, at the top all right so you, uh, what is it that you want to drop the columns which are starting with underscore and uh, for that you just need to provide the first character and then put a colon enter the parenthesis operator select this and hit the run button now here you can see those two columns have been removed those two columns are not appearing over here all right hope you understand this so this is how you can do the transpose all right now let's go and see some more options into this sometime it happens that the value which you have over here all right you want it to be appear as variable name but with some default prefixed value or maybe suffixed value so let's uh, uh, proc transpose provide you the facility to prefix something prefix trans i'm putting trans and let's see what happens to the data so be careful that you don't have to provide this name in double quotes in in general it happens wherever we provide some character value we put them in double quotes but here you don't have to do that so let's see just select this and hit run button now here you can see previously the country name was only belgium the variable name now it has been prefixed with with trans underscore so this is how you can change the column name also at the same time when you are transposing the data now let's look at the suffix option similarly it works suffix we want to put done as the suffix anything you can put now let's run this here you can see previously it was belgium then it was prefixed with trans underscore and then it was suffix with underscore done all right so this is how you can prefix and suffix the variable name which which has been created after transpose of the data so this is how you can do a trans a transformation of your data all right this is how you can transform your data you can also use many columns over here if you want i can show you another example let's find the details customer details over here all right so here we have contact name and the country and we want to uh, contact name country city and transaction amount we, we uh, the problem statement is we do not want contact name and country name to be changed we just want city to be changed and transaction as it is in the previous example so let's try that first we you need to sort the data data exists in my lib the data ta uh, the table name is customer details and then i am going to output that and keep the same name but this time i am keeping that in work library by city and then country no contact name and then country let's run this it is sorted now now let's try proc transpose supply the input data which is customer details and then i want to produce is transpose 2 and then 
by by city and the contact name and the id variable it's also going to be same country and then where that's gonna be transaction amount run select the statement and hit the run button let's see what happens it just showed us some error finland occurs twice in the same by group let's look at the data and try to debug this let's look at original data so our original data exists in work library the table name was country details okay so the error was the id uk occurs twice in the same by group for contact name that part for same contact name that part occurs twice let's look at the data uk here it comes city and the country so it is also important that your data is unique it's very important that your data should be unique so for that we already have another data set which is unicast all right so here we have that data which we used in the previous now let's do one thing while to deal with this data to correct this first we need to remove the duplicates all right so let's try this no do key okay and this time we gonna just remove this or maybe we can keep this so here we are asking sas sort the data and remove the duplicates uh, remove all those observations where city contact name and country are duplicates select this hit the run button now you can see still the contact name because of contact name it is keeping unique all right so we're just gonna remove contact name from here and try this now you now you have the unique data and then you can run this as you can see the data has been transformed this time you have city and the contact name untransformed and the country name is transformed from here so it is very important that the variable uh, thankfully we faced a error we faced an error and we found the way how we can eliminate that so whenever you get such error you need to make sure that the column name which you are providing with id that should be unique for the by variables whatever by variable you are providing that is for city the country should comes only once for same city the same country should not appear twice all right so this is very important you need to be careful so this is what we wanted to learn over here thank you very much for watching the video do not forget to like the video and provide your comment provide your feedback in the comment section thank you very much for watching the video wish you very